Can you imagine a world where humans love each other like our pets love us? My dog Cyrus has no idea who's at this door, but I can absolutely guarantee you something. When I ring this bell, he'll start to bark in excitement. <laughs> Not because he's a great watchdog, but at the joyful possibility of meeting someone new. He'll then come rushing to the door with his tail just about wagging off his hind legs. When he sees it's me, he'll wiggle around and try to lick me all over. Now I know that's a charming thought for many of you, but let's try it out. One of the things I love about Cyrus is his unconditional love and acceptance. He doesn't care what I look like, what colour I am, whether I'm skinny or fat, young or old, tall or short, whether I'm rich or poor. He doesn't even care if I forget to feed him or walk him. Even if I accidentally tread on his tail, he gives out a whelp and then turns around to lick me. He just loves me and loves to be with me. He never expects things, never complains, never greets me here at the door with a scowl, no ulterior motives, just a wag of the tail as if to say, it's so great to see you, let's go and have some fun together. I find it interesting that quite a few people like to come to our home. I know why. It's not just to visit my wife Coralie and I, it's always Cyrus they seek out first. They look at him and have this big grin on their face trying to hide the fact that we play second fiddle to our dog. But that's exactly what unconditional love does to the one being loved. You can't help but want to love back. You feel a sense of purpose. You love being around the person and you look forward to the next time you get together. The Bible says, let us love one another for lovers of God. God loves us no matter who we are or what we've done. And he wants us to have the same attitude of love towards others. Cyrus here loves everyone. How about you? <laughs>